there is a huge shortage of computer chips worldwide. That's why the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are nowhere to be bought and why there are huge problems with car production. Tesla has not suffered much of this so far, and that's partly because the company is simply omitting parts from the Model 3 without telling customers. Want to know more about what Tesla is hiding and why? Then stay tuned to the video. Welcome to the world of Tesla. Don't forget to land your finger on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss out an update about Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, or more. Having said that, let us begin. Have you received a new Tesla Model 3 in the past few months? If so, there's a good chance that your car is missing one particular part. The steering system contains two electronic control units. The backup unit was left out by Tesla in tens of thousands of cars delivered in China, Australia, and in Europe in recent months. That the particle is missing, Tesla did not tell customers. News channel CNBC found out after talking to Tesla employees and reviewing internal documents. But first, some more information about the Tesla Model 3. The Tesla Model 3 is an electric hatchback that has been on the market since early 2019. By 2020, with a production number of 500,000, the Tesla Model 3 will be the world's best-selling electric car until then. The construction of the Model 3 consists of steel and aluminum. According to Tesla, the Model 3 has a lifespan of 1.6 million kilometers. The Model 3 has four doors, five seats, and front and rear trunk space. The Tesla Model 3 does not have an instrument cluster. All operation is via an in-diagonal 38-centimeter touchscreen. The Tesla Model 3 can be equipped with autopilot. This allows the Model 3 to drive autonomously the Tesla is prepared for ADAS Level 5. Cameras, sensors, and radars are used for this. In poor visibility, the systems are disabled. Through updates, the technology of the Model 3 is adapted a little at a time. Also, during the life cycle of the model, improvements were made each time during production. Updates are also sometimes provided, which can be obtained for an additional fee. The simplest Tesla Model 3 is the standard range. It has a single electric motor that produces 238 HP and therefore only rear wheel drive. The battery capacity is 75 kilowatt hours and the charging power at the household plug is 11 kilowatts. This means that the battery is fully charged in seven and a half hours. On the fast charger, the Tesla Model 3 standard range can charge up to 100 kilowatts and the battery is fully charged in over a half an hour. According to the WLTP consumption standard, the range is 450 kilometers. The Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive has both front and rear electric motors, making all wheel drive standard. The total power output of the Model 3 long range is 351 horsepower. Again, there's a battery capacity of 75 kilowatts and the charging capacity of the AC charger is 11 kilowatts. Thus, the battery is also full in seven and a half hours. On the direct current charger, however, the Tesla Model 3 long range can charge up to 250 kilowatts and the battery is full in 13 minutes. The range according to the WLTP standard is 560 kilometers. The top of the range is the Tesla Model 3 Performance All-Wheel Drive. It too has two electric motors. Together, they produce 462 horsepower in the performance. However, the battery capacity is simply 75 kilowatts. The charging times of the performance are therefore the same as those of the long-range all-wheel drive. But what exactly is Tesla holding back? What's missing from the new Tesla Model 3? Poof, what does it matter? It's a backup part, right? Yes, it is. But in the near future, it could have implications for you as a Tesla driver. The Model 3 and Model Y require the second unit for the extended full self-driving functionality. So if you have checked that option on the order list as a buyer or lease driver, you will soon have to take your car back to Tesla to have the particle installed. Otherwise, a software update alone is not enough to enable FSD as is the case with Teslas that do have the second control unit. 
According to CNBC, there were discussions within Tesla to tell customers or not to tell customers. In the end, the manufacturer decided not to inform Model 3 and Model Y drivers until the full self-driving functionality becomes available. And there's something to be said for that. Earlier, Tesla's had only one control unit for the steering system. However, Tesla has done very little testing to avoid the potentially negative consequences of the modification. According to CNBC's sources, the omission of the control unit was decided and implemented in two weeks. The Tesla Model 3 has become increasingly expensive, particularly in the United States, since last year. In February, the price for the Model 3 Standard Range Plus, the standard model, was still $37,000, but now it's already $39,990, an increase of more than 8% in less than 6 months. This is the fifth price increase for that model this year. The mid-model, the long-range all-wheel drive has increased by $2,500 to a total of $48,990. The sporting model, the performance, has remained the same in price. So we're all going to pay more for our new car, but Tesla is leaving out parts? The question then remains, of course, why are the prices of these Tesla cars suddenly rising? As is often the case, we have to find the answer with Tesla chief Elon Musk, specifically his Twitter account where he is regularly active. The South African responded to a number of comments and questions from loyal Tesla customers. One of those consumers noted that Tesla has raised the prices of some models while removing conveniences like lumbar support at the passenger seat and leaving parts missing. Prices are rising as a result of significant supply chain price pressure across the industry, Musk tweeted, especially raw materials. On that lumbar support, he says the following. It was only removed in the front passenger seat of the Model 3 and Y, logically not in the rear seats. Logs showed almost no use. People feel the cost is unnecessary when these options are almost never used anyway, the Tesla chief said. Tesla's Elon Musk has not yet minced words about the missing parts. What do you think of these price increases and missing parts? Let us know in the comments below. If you would like to be kept up to date with topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching The World of Tesla.